Hi guys, today on the bench we've got a Sony TC-RX80ES cassette deck. This uh, cassette deck first came out in 1988. I believe it was around for only a couple of years before it was withdrawn. And it is similar in build and features to a lot of the decks around that time that came out from Sony. They did bring out quite a few RX series ES cassette decks and the quality and the specs were similar between them all. The unique thing about the RX80 ES is that it came with a spectrum analyzer on the deck. Now, I don't know of any other cassette deck that had that, especially around that time. And it was, uh, it was, it was a bit gimmicky. Um, th there's no controls while you're recording to alter that. You've only got record level, um, of course. So, there's no way of uh, actually tuning that um, that frequency response that you're recording. But uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of people liked flashing lights and VU meters, myself included. Um, so I would have been drawn to this at the time. Um, the other features on the deck are uh, Dolby BNC noise reduction. We've got, um, it's a, it's a two head deck with auto reverse. So that means that the um, that the playhead needs to turn around, so it, it, it's only a two-track head, single direction. When you want to auto reverse, the actual head flips around on a on a little turntable, and then the spindles reverse, and it plays in the opposite direction. Um, so, yeah, this is uh, this is a little bit unique, uh, only really because of that spectrum analyzer. So, um, let me uh, let me switch this on, and you can uh, take a look. So I'm just going to get a tape. And you can see here, these are the frequencies that you've got on the spectrum analyzer. The normal VU meter, level meter, uh, which is a peak hold level meter, is on the right hand side here. And then you have the five band spectrum analyzer so that's 100 hertz 300 hertz 1 kilohertz 3 kilohertz and 10 kilohertz but it's uh, it's quite a nice display this it's quite large um obviously because of the spectrum analyzer but you've got everything is um is reflected in the display on what you're doing so you've got chrome tape selection that would change to metal or normal depending on what cassette you have in and then if i put the noise reduction on you can see that's indicated as well, Dolby B and C. We've got direction. Uh, even though these direction buttons light up as well, you've still got direction on the display. So uh, yeah, it's quite a nice, um, um, quite a nice fluorescent display, this one. So if we press play, you can see these levels now moving on the display. And yeah, I, I think it's quite eye-catching. It looks um, it looks nice if you had this in a stack system with a number of other items, um, amplifier and everything else that's got the, um, it's also got VU meters on and level meters. This, uh, this would look, this would look really nice. So there's your reverse. You can hear it's a little bit, I mean, they're all a bit, the, the soft touch controls on the Sony decks are all a bit clunky because they're operated by a, a solenoid. Um, the solenoid replaces the action of you actually pressing down the uh, the physical button on the non um, soft touch deck so that noise you can hear that initial clunk that's that uh, sort of large electromagnet actuating a, uh, the mechanism but then there's a secondary noise that you can hear which is the um, which is the play head spinning round on this turntable um, but yeah, this is uh, it's got it's got BIOS adjust and um, all your usual stuff on here. But uh, yeah, it's it's particularly this display on this model that uh, that makes it uh, stand out for me. I'll just take the camera off the tripod and uh, I'll show you around uh, some of the parts on it. I'm not sure how well this is uh, this is going to pick up because my camera isn't really a, a macro camera but here we have the um, two capstans 
which you always have on uh, on auto reverse decks and then this is the um this is the two track playhead here so the way this would operate that that circular turntable that you can see it on this actually spins around 180 degrees depending on which direction it's going and this other head here this is the uh, the erase head of course so the tape direction would be as you're looking at it now left to right um, and then when you reverse direction and the tape was going right to left this turntable would spin round so that the erase head was always first and the playhead was in the correct orientation that's in the forward direction it's a little bit noisy because there's no tape um, you need a tape on that spindle to quieten it down but uh, that's the forward direction and if you look at the playhead when I reverse it you can see that spinning round the other way so that's how the two track playheads work in an auto reverse deck It's a little shot inside. Um, it's quite a big circuit board in this. Um, bigger than most of the ones that I've looked at around this age. Uh, and I don't think it's the spectrum analyzer part because that is on the uh, the backboard here on the back of the um, on the back of the fascia. Is uh, it's, it's got a chip on there which I expect is doing the control for the spectrum analyzer. So this all must be um, just tape mechanism. Um, so yeah, it's uh, there's quite a lot on here. It's all through hole component, of course. Um, well, I say of course, 1988. There was um, there's quite a bit of surface mount around at that time, but this is all uh, this is all through hole. But even so, there's quite a lot more than I would expect um, for for this deck. But uh, yeah, it's in good condition. Um, it's nice and clean in there. So there's another shot there that just shows you that extra circuitry on the back of the fascia panel and there's a, there's a large chip down there that I expect is uh, it's doing the spectrum control it's the back of the uh, tape transport and this is the this here is the solenoid that I was talking about before this is the large uh, electromagnet solenoid and that will pull uh, this will when it's energized it will attract an arm into that which will uh, then pull the mechanism which um, yeah I mean it, it needs to use that for start stop rewind as you know on an ordinary cassette deck with non soft touch controls that you've got to press physically press this key down and you can feel the resistance there that's that's basically doing that job but uh, yeah it's uh, it's it looks pretty clean in here So around the back we've got um, not much around the back to be honest just line in and out all analog of course and then we have the control sync connectors this was um, for connecting to other Sony products at the time um, some amplifiers so the cassette decks they all had this synchro um, connection cable which allowed you to um, sync up the record and play back on the decks you know you would have one deck on pause standby and then you press play on the other deck and it would uh, start recording on this one so that's what that was for so that's the Sony TC RX 80 ES cassette deck from 1988 and um, yeah it's it's a getting a little bit rare this machine now um, you don't see too many of them and uh, like I said before it is sought after because of the uh, because of this display but um, yeah this is, uh, this is a nice deck and I uh, hope you've enjoyed seeing it see you next time